What's up, my name is Technumbo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Ultimate Stacker. Ultimate Stacker allows you to stack spawners, mobs and items, and it even adds custom mob loot tables. The Ultimate plugins install a little differently to the usual. Head over to the Songoda page for Ultimate Stacker. Click the download button right under the project icon on the left, then head over to the file section on your Server Pro dashboard. Open the plugins folder, then click the upload button and upload the jar that we just downloaded from Songoda. Then all we need to do is a simple server restart. The plugin also requires Vault as well as an economy plugin of your choice. I'll be using Sane Economy. On top of that, the plugin also requires the Holographic Displays mod to display item stacks in game properly. The plugin is designed to be compatible with Epic Spawner, so if you'd like to use that plugin as well, make sure to install it. Then you can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. The plugin's main command is slash us for Ultimate Stacker. This then returns a list of all the plugin's commands and their usage. Let's start with the basic demonstration. Stacking blocks. I'll go ahead and place a diamond block and it seems to place as normal. Then I'll place another on top of it and instead of placing next to it, the item stacks into the same block. This allows you to store many physical blocks in the same space as one. We can simply break the block to take one off the stack. The limit is incredibly high so we can easily go above 64. Then if we sneak while breaking the block, it drops an entire stack or as many as it can. We can change the list of stackable blocks later. Then dropping some items, you'll see some info where the item was dropped in the form of a hologram, showing the block type as well as stack size. If we spawn more than a few animals in one area, they'll combine into a stacked mob to prevent server lag. We can then fight the mob and one mob at a time will be knocked off the stack, dropping its items. Then we have stackable spawners. Let's give ourselves one with the command. Slash US gives spawner techno, followed by a mob's name, three. I'll use cow. This gives us three spawners stacked into one. Placing it, we see a 3x spawner and it should spawn at three times the speed of a normal spawner. If we right click again, you'll see we're left with one in our inventory instead of three and a 5x spawner on the ground as the max stack is five. Simply placing them on top of each other combines them. We can then use a Silk Touch pickaxe to knock one spawner off the stack easily. And we can customize stack size later in the config. Then we have customizable loot tables. We can use slash US lootables to bring up an option menu. This lets us create custom drops for entities. Clicking the llama, we see what the default mob drops are. Then we can left click or right click to edit existing drops or click the lime die to add another item to the drop table. In all caps, I'll enter stone. This adds stone to the drop table for a llama. If we go ahead, spawn one, and then destroy it, it'll have stone as a drop. The best part about this is that the config is directly built into the game via a GUI. Let's simply run slash US settings, and we'll see a complete settings window that we can customize almost everything from the plugin in. We'll get into configuring the plugin using the actual files in just a second. Let's get into the items.yml config. This lets us change the stack size for dropped items and clicking on a block like stone, you'll see a lot of options here. It'd be better to edit the actual config file, but we can still do it in-game. Here we can change the max stack size, toggle whether it has a hologram to display stack information above it, as well as its name. I'll edit the name, write something like fish, then close out of the GUI completely. Dropping some stone, we'll see our custom name stack. The item is still stone. Then clicking on config.yml, we can choose blocks then options for stackable blocks. In here, we can add blocks to the list to allow more than just diamond blocks to be stacked, toggle holograms, and more. Then we have some admin commands. Running slash us for reference again, let's see some commands. Slash us remove all, followed by entities, items, or all, removes existing items, entities, or both of them in the world. Slash us spawn, followed by an entity, as well as an amount, spawns us an entity stack. Slash US convert allows us to convert data from other stacking plugins, but of course, it's very unlikely that you'll ever use this command. Then finally, we have slash US reload. This reloads the plugin settings from the config file for manual editing. Let's locate the config in the plugin folder. In here, we have the same config files that we could edit in-game. 
and if you can, rather use the in-game options to customize these files. As with the other Ultimate plugins, the settings files are incredibly well documented and easy to understand. The locales folder has the number of files inside. These lang files are just text files containing localization for the plugin. Lootables allows us to customize what mobs drop which items. We can customize these settings in-game as well. UltimateStacker.db contains data for the plugin and shouldn't be touched. Spawners.yml contains settings for spawner mob stacking, how many mobs can be spawned by a spawner in an area before it stops, and we can adjust the max stack size with negative 1 being infinite. Items.yml contains a list of item entities that we customize a little in-game. And here, we can customize the hologram, max stack size, and whether the hologram is active for every droppable item in-game. Config.yml has the remaining settings for the plugin, as well as master toggles under each heading such as entities on line 13, items on 177, spawners on 221, and blocks on 253. Changing these toggles to false stops their stacking in-game entirely. Every setting in this file is incredibly well documented with info on what it does right above each one. To save time from reading exactly what you see on screen, I'll jump around a bit. Most of the sections we just saw have settings like name format and holograms enabled for the holographic display above them in game, as well as whitelists or blacklists to enable or disable stacking of certain items or entity types in game. They also share search radius, which is how far items or entities will be pulled from in the local area to be stacked together in game. At the very bottom, we have language mode under system, where we can change the language for the plugin as well as MySQL settings, so we can use a MySQL server instead of the database file in the plugins directory. Server Pro provides you with a MySQL database on our Pro plans. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!